Boom, hey internet. Uh, I just made a slew of videos for trade show because when I'm shooting this right now, it's trade show season. So I, maybe I'll drop this a little bit after. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, so really quick, I just wanted to address when, when do you get a trade show booth for the trade show? Uh, and I've done a number, I should do a separate playlist. I've, done, I've talked about trade show in depth. Okay, so if you don't know, um, throughout my 20s and 30s, I probably missed like five trade shows. So that's twice a year, every year. Um, actually, since before I was 21, I think the first trade show I went to, I was like 19. Um, couldn't even legally drink. So Vegas, spring and fall, two years, every year, I maybe missed six. That's why I don't go, I don't go to the trade show anymore because I, I mean... It's always good to network, but I don't need to network anymore um, because of YouTube. I have tons and tons of consulting that I have to turn down, um, consulting and design work. In any case, in any case, um, so Sasha Minx um, and uh, Sasha subscribed, I think, on the first video that she watched. I think that's what she's saying. So thank you, Sasha. Um, this one is to you. She's saying her question from another video that I did about trade show is, um, so you're saying don't get a booth until you have brick and mortar retail and I, I just wanted to be very clear um, Still as this is post dating brick and mortar is they going through their issues. Okay, so um, Many smaller mom-and-pop retails anything that has less than three doors is really trying to figure out how to how to keep things going Okay, um, it's a very weird time right now because Fashion is continuing to get interrupted. It's not fully interrupted. Who knows when it's going to get, it's going to stop being interrupted. And that, I mean, sidebar, that's why this is so exciting for me to try to document it on my channel because I, um, because I feel it gives you guys value, but it's really interesting for me to see, having been working professionally in fashion since 2000. Um, so, because retail like brick and mortar retail is really in a crazy spot right now um i wouldn't rely on them uh by a large amount you know it should be part of what you want to accomplish but listen we just want to move product so having your own uh e-commerce having your own shopify site definitely something you need to have definitely something you need to have um, selling your own e-commerce is like standard now. I mean, the days of people not doing that and saying, oh, I'm gonna have whatever online, I was gonna say Karma Loop, um, but at the, at the point when you're watching this, you, you, you probably don't even know what Karma Loop is. Um, but Karma Loop used to be the biggest uh, distributor of, 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 of men's and women's streetwear. Um, they went bankrupt, actually worked for a company that was owned by the parent company um, that Greg owned, but in, in, in any case, the days of that are gone. You have to have your own shop online. You need to have your, a huge presence online and that basically serves to the world, okay? Um, now, the reason I'm talking about that is because the real point is you wanna move units, you wanna move product. You wanna make sure your your garments, your hats, your shirts, whatever they are, are moving and they keep you keep trying to double and double and double the amount of need there is to fulfill orders. You wanna be like anti-social social club, okay? They have problems shipping because they blew up so quickly and everyone wanted their product, okay? And now they've taken the joke in too. Um, as this is post-dating, if you see some of their, their last releases, they're making fun of it. So they have the sweater that says, um, people love to read bad reviews. And so, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. Like basically they're saying, we don't care that uh, you don't you, that you're pissed about the customer service because they can't supply the product fast enough so they definitely um, as a case study have a coolness factor that's where they're growing at a crazy rate so that company like, like let's, let's take that for example do they need the trade show I don't know at some point the trade shows hit them up and say hey can you are, are you thinking about showing with us and that point they have the they have the ball in their court because they can say, well, we don't really need you guys. And then they say, well, will you come show for free? And then what that does is it shows other brands, like if you are a smaller brand, you're gonna say, oh, Antisocial Social Club is showing um, at this trade show in Vegas, maybe we should do it. Because then they're gonna claim that brand and say, look, they're showing with us. When really they're not paying, number one. Number two, they don't even need it because their sales 
they probably it's probably a waste of time for their company and resource because they should be you know taking care of the shipping issue because they have so much demand for their product honestly um, so um, that's going far into one example but I just wanted to give you a real example now not everyone's gonna hit those numbers but my case in point is it uh, Sasha it doesn't need to be brick and mortar retail it's just however you're selling it so you would want your company to do like half of the sales or more than half of the sales because you can control that outlet number one number two um, you get the full margin of the price right so if you have wholesale you're gonna sell that for half and so the end of what they double it for you can sell your product so that you're not undercutting your wholesale um, if you're following me okay so you're not you're not going lower than your your than your retail guys that you're selling it for half the price which is good for you because you keep the whole margin you know and then you you can play with online exclusives where you can offer that cheaper because you're not offering that to your retail okay and when I say retail it doesn't have to be brick and mortar you can have several uh, online guys that that just distribute right so they just have a nice website and they distribute from like middle of America because it's cheaper and it's faster to get it to different places um, you can have a couple operations like that but you just want it to be sales so trade show should be like you need to show up at the trade show in order to meet uh, or increase your retail presence um, and see how it does but you should do your numbers so so it should be a need base so you should put that in the budget it should be in your marketing or uh, uh, depends uh, mark a lot of companies put it in their marketing budget for the year but let's try the trade show this year and see if it pays off see if you get more accounts where you end up um, getting more income from those accounts you know top line or bottom line however you want to see it because then you can write off the show but if you are a small brand you have no accounts do not do not buy a booth at your trade show okay um, love there hope that helps uh, Sasha thank you for the question any other questions you guys might have, drop it all down below. Follow me on social media when you got a chance because I'll be dropping info there that I don't necessarily drop on the channel for the latest. I'm trying to meet everybody if I can when I travel uh, in person. So follow me on Instagram and all my other social media when you have a chance. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.